Baltimore's Archdiocese announced reforms this week to handle sexual abuse. But tonight, some survivors say they still don't trust the church. WJZ investigator Mike Helgren is live in South Baltimore with their reactions. Mike. Rick, several survivors tell me that they have doubts about whether a new third party review panel to look into complaints is really independent from the church. The first survivor you're about to hear from was raped repeatedly while attending Catholic school on this very street. This is not for survivors, it, it lacks credibility. Liz Murphy listened as Baltimore's Archbishop called for zero tolerance for sexual abuse and outlined new steps the church was taking to deal with the crisis. But her faith has not been restored. I so want to trust in the Archbishop's good intentions. But it was just a media blitz. Murphy endured being raped repeatedly in her Catholic school by her teacher, John Mersbacher, as church leadership tried to cover it up for years. He's now in prison for child rape. What keeps me up at night is the image of my classmate's dead body because he could no longer endure the suffering of his sexual abuse. That's what keeps me up at night. What keeps me up at night? Are the hundreds of stories that I've heard from survivors. And what keeps me up at night is this disingenuous response from my church. She recently spent more than two hours testifying before a team from Maryland's Attorney General's office as part of their investigation into the church. Yes, I have been interviewed by the Attorney General's office. Gloria Larkin also spent hours telling the Attorney General's team her story. She was abused by Father Joseph Maskell, featured in the Keepers documentary. I have no faith whatsoever in the Catholic Church doing the right thing. They're there to protect the institution, period. So I do have hope that the Attorney General will be dogged in their persistence of the truth. Yesterday, the Archbishop apologized to victims, and the Archdiocese has turned over some 50,000 documents and counting to the Attorney General's office. Survivors say they hope the AG gets all of the documents. Reporting live in South Baltimore, Mike Helgren, W.